Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. And I'm Dan, her husband and yes. partner and assistant. Yes, game expert. Oh, and game expert. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing a fun game called Codenames Duet. There's a regular Codenames, but we're going to be playing the one that's meant for two people. During this game, we're going to be talking out loud and trying to explain why we're doing what we're doing. So I hope that you're going to be able to catch some real vocabulary, real phrasal verbs. I'm going to try to explain the game just a little bit, but overall, I hope that your goal for this video is to learn some natural vocabulary. And next week in the YouTube video, I'm going to be explaining some of these words in more detail. So if you saw a word that you thought was interesting, don't worry. Next week, hopefully we'll talk about it in more detail. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Just to give a general overview of how to play this game, we have this little key card here. And but don't show me. Yes, Dan sees one side, I see the other, and it's, I'll show you here on the screen. I'm trying to get Dan to guess the green words on my side, and he's trying to guess, get me to guess his green words, and we don't want each other to guess our black words. Those are kind of the bomb words. Yeah, we have a, a whole legion of words here, mm. and some of them are the correct words that we need to guess. Mm. And I don't know what her side says, and she doesn't know what my side says. So we're yeah. going to try to give each other a one-word hint mm -hmm. to guess the right word, or the word we're trying to think of. Yeah, you'll and pick actually, it up. <laughs> yeah, it's better if you, if you try to give a hint for multiple words, mm -hmm. which I, I'm guessing Vanessa is going to do, because she's pretty smart. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so we're just going to play the game, and you can try to pick it up along the way. I've already set out the cards. Just watch. You'll learn. <laughs> I already set out the cards, so we are ready to go. Oh. OK, so I kind of gave myself a little piece of paper where I wrote down some hints. These are all of my words, just so I can kind of visually see them together. Mm -hmm. My first word for you, it's a big one. Are you ready? <laughs> it is Gouda. Gouda. Three. So that means Gouda. If you know what Gouda is, I'll let, I can't say anything else about that word, oh, yeah. but Gouda. Gouda is a cheese. And three means there are three cards here on the table that relate to that word. Some of them might be closely related. Some of them might be a stretch, <laughs> but I hope that Dan guesses them correctly. Right. And I have to touch them for it to be official. Yes. So I'm allowed to just speak about what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, Gouda is a cheese, mm -hmm. and cheese is a word down here. Yep. Um, oftentimes, cheese comes in a wheel. Mm -hmm. So if there's a wheel, mm -hmm. it's made in a kitchen. It, it resembles a clock. OK, that could be a stretch. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, Gouda is smoky, usually. It's a smoky Gouda. Um, Let's see, that's, uh, that's all I got so far. The hard part is that if he says the wrong word or if he says the right word, I can't give a facial expression that hits. Well, okay. I'm going to definitely touch cheese. <laughs> all right, that's correct. Because that's obvious. So when that's could... correct, we put one of these no, no, on it. We put this one on it. Yeah. Okay. So that means that this word is finished. All right. I'm going to mark it off on my paper. And um, let's see. Trying to make sure I'm not missing something obvious. Hmm. She probably thinks I am. I can't give any hint with my face, well, which is really hard. I'm going to go with, maybe this game will end right now. If he touches a black word, then it means the game is instantly over. Smoked Gouda. Ding, ding, ding. Because <sighs> you also have to think a strategy for this game is, why did I say Gouda? and not brie, not cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Why did I specifically choose Gouda? Hmm, now, now I feel like it's either wheel or kitchen mm -hmm. because uh, you make, well, cheese comes in a, a wheel. You call it a cheese wheel. Mm -hmm. You call it a cheese wheel. I don't you make me make a facial wheel. expression. I can't give it away. Wheel. You got it. <laughs> wow, that, I think that was the best first word that I've ever said because all three of those were related to Gouda. Oh, and you take one of these check marks when your turn is done. Oh, right. I in got the single mark. player, oh wait, single, two player version. Yeah, in this game, we're trying to beat the game. So we're hoping to have everything finished by the time these little cards are finished. It's not too important to explain that part. Okay. All right, do you have okay. a hint for me? 
I'm ready. Your hint is star two. All right, so two words here are related to star. Well, a star has five points, so it could be a pentagon, street, star, kitchen, clock, rice, army, blacksmith, dentist, fever, fog, earth, penny. As she says, every single one. Big Bang. Oh, stars were created in the Big Bang. Hmm. Were they, though? Some... Country what's the, what's stars. Is Bane even real? <laughs> Some I don't know. country stars come from Texas? That's a little bit of a stretch. Um, butterfly now. Okay, I'm going to go with Pentagon. Are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, good. That is just one of these. Oh. Okay, so if this were a black word on his side, that means the game would be immediately over and we would lose. The Pentagon? <laughs> yeah, the Pentagon. I was just thinking the building. Well, yeah, but this is outside. I forgot the box. that 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 means five points. Okay, so even though <laughs> yeah, even though he said two words, I can't guess the second word because I got the first one wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that and that counts as a turn. We only have nine turns, so we're trying to finish in nine turns. Yeah. But I mean, we got a lot in your first one. So. Okay. All right. So now it's my turn to tell you a word. Well, I already have another word ready. Another word or another hint? Another hint. Another I hint. have another hint ready. Okay. Let me make sure that it's not going to clash with any of the other words. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, my hint. I don't feel as certain about this one. <laughs> oh, boy. My hint is bike two. Two bikes. There are two words that relate to bike, hopefully. You also think that. <laughs> well, some dentists in foreign countries ride bikes to work, mm. but not in America. And we're in America, so <laughs> impossible. Uh, bikes have gears. That's pretty obvious. Bikes go on the street. Bikes ride to the Pentagon. And Columbus, too. I hear that Joan of Arc is... also rode a bike. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, maybe that's Christopher Columbus. He definitely didn't have a bike. Um, so I'm going to start out with gear. Good work. That's easy. All right, we got gear. And you have one and, more guess because um, you got that correct. Oh, oh, helmet. Duh. So probably the tough thing is between helmet and street. Um... I associate a helmet more with the bike because, well, you always ride the bike on the street, but helmet. <laughs> you can also ride a bike on a path, on a trail. Right. Yeah. I know. I was hoping. I didn't even see it, it the first time. All right. Good work. So you got. As you can tell, this, this game can break these. up relationships. <laughs> we're it, doing okay so far. We're, uh, we're fine so far. <laughs> I'm a little angry at the moment about Pentagon. Not that, really. that you forgot okay. that that has five points. Yeah. Actually, that was my fault anyways. Uh, so now it's your turn to think of a hint for me. Do you have a hint ready for me? <sighs> I have a hint ready. Okay. And I'm going to try to make it easy. It's kind of lame of me to do this, but Sushi won. Oh. Just one. Well. But she can make additional guesses after this because she didn't get the last one. Yeah, I'm going to go with, there's both rice and kitchen on the table, but I feel like rice is a lot more specific. You would have said something else if it was actually kitchen. So I'm going to click. Click. Touch. Rice. Rice. <sighs> okay, so now because I got. You got it. All of yours correct. I'm going to continue to guess the ones that I missed last time. Okay. Your hint was star two. So I'm going to go with Big Bang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's Earth, but I'm going to take a look around because Pentagon was not right. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably the closest thing to star. Earth. No! What? Earth is not a star. Well, Earth is in outer space. There's, it's a astronomical body. You see why this breaks up relationships? <laughs> when you don't understand each other. Okay, so we only used up two wrong guesses. So we have 
five more turns to get everything correct. For star, I guess we could say Joan of Arc was a star. That's kind of weird. Okay, anyway, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, are you ready for my next hint? I'm ready. I'm a little worried about this one. Hey, so far <laughs> your signals to me have been very clear. Okay, well. Mine not so much. <laughs> I hope that this helps. <laughs> so as the game gets, goes along further, there's less words, and so it's harder to combine them. So we've been cutting out from the, I'll cut out when I edit this video, <laughs> the time that it takes to think about words. It but takes a long time to think of a hint. Yeah, my next hint is, let me make sure, double check, nature. Too. That's an easy enough word. Yeah, There's it, nature everywhere. That's the problem. Nature is such a broad word. But I chose it. Oh. All right. Well, nothing's seriously jumping out at me except for butterfly. Butterflies are part of nature. Um, you know. Hmm. Fog. The kind of nature. I mean, it's it's in nature. Napoleon is a freak of nature. <laughs> Zombies are also freaks of nature. Natural. Um, I'm gonna go with butterfly first. Good work. And, geez, I really I don't know about this next one though. Well, Earth. Okay, so Earth was neutral for me, so maybe it's not for you. Um, oh wait, no. Yes. Yeah, Earth was neutral for you. Okay. That's why you put this on it. Okay. I, I'm gonna say you probably are not thinking of fog the way I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna touch Earth. No. Is that an assassin? No. It's neutral? It is neutral. Double neutral, so we're okay. Okay, so that means we have to put another little uh, yeah, I guess so. tab on there, and we lose one of our turns. So then Actually, you could put a check mark because we got one. It already has it on there. Okay, so the next time around, you'll if you get all of my hints, you'll get an extra guess. And mm -hmm. you could potentially guess the final nature word. Yeah, but Earth is very natural. Well... I can't say anything. You can't say anything. <laughs> no. Nope. So okay. this is where the the couple's <laughs> tension comes in. I don't feel any tension. Oh, oh. Neither do I. <laughs> no tension whatsoever. All right, it's your turn to think of a hint for me. All right, my next hint is amount. Amount. Okay. It's a little vague. Oh, yes. amount two. <laughs> Forgot that part. Oh, there's two words. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, I feel like the people are kind of out. So not Columbus, not Napoleon, not Joan of Arc, not blacksmith or dentist. Texas stable amount. Uh, there's a large amount of zombies. Um... We could use penny to say, like, what's the amount of money you need? Or the, what's the amount? I feel like if we're talking about measurements amounts, you have to measure if you have a fever. You also could say there's an amount on a clock, maybe? That's a little bit of a stretch. All right, I'm going to start with Penny. I'm scared. <laughs> I got one. All right, there's another one that has an amount. Well, there's an amount on the thermometer, like a temperature is an amount. I don't feel like clock is stronger than fever. Fever. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Okay, so if I... Are you going to make any additional guesses? If I have not yet guessed star, <laughs> your second star word, I can guess it now. I haven't guessed it yet. It's still available? Yes, it's still available. Oh, boy. 
Star, come on. I could tell he used stars for an astrono astronomical clock. This will not make sense to your students either. <sighs> Really? Oh, well, that's, that the, might be a hint. I don't know. How's this You'll supposed to make out. sense to me then? I'm... Okay. I thought you understood me. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you understand what I would choose as stars, such as Pentagon and Earth? Right, well, no. I, I get that. <laughs> I've never. I, that was just a miss by me. Earth, I don't get that. In this game, I have never missed a word twice like that. I don't think. Well, then you look harder. That's what I'm doing. You know what? I think I might pass. You're going to pass. Okay. We have four more tokens left, so I feel like we're pretty safe. Check mark. And now it's my turn to give you a hint. Okay. Maybe our words will overlap. Are you know. ready? Or are you, do you need a minute? I need a minute. You need a minute. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I have my next hint, and it's kind of simple, as in it's just one word. But I'm going to say... Let me make sure. Let me make sure. It is martyr one. Martyr. Martyr. Too who's simple. A, who's a martyr? <laughs> Definitely Columbus, savior of the planet of North America. Killer of millions of people. <laughs> oh wait, wrong martyr, Joan of Arc. Yes, you got it. All right. Okay, just for drama's sake, I'm just going to give you one hint and see if you can get my star. <laughs> no. My star. Uh... So uh, your hint is time one. Okay, well, it's got to be clock. Oh, touch it. Mm -hmm. So I oh, guess we, no. we lose if you don't get this, right? Um... Oh, no, you get, oh, I think in the rules you get like a Hail Mary guess at the end. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's one Hail Mary guess at the end. Okay. I'll double check after this, but so let's see if you can get it now. You would get that guess. Um, I'm not sure. Because I have, actually I have two words. I said I had one word before, but I have two words. One is a new word that I've never given a hint for, <laughs> and one's a word that you missed before. Oh, star. Okay, well let Oh, me... star. I would personally not say that Christopher Columbus is a star. I would consider that more someone who's like a pop star. And Columbus was a pretty, he was a discoverer, an explorer, but he's a pretty bad guy in my opinion. So I would not say he's a star, but we'll leave it on the table. Texas, the flag has a giant star in the middle of it. <laughs> the flag of Texas has a star, stable. Um, some stars are stable, some stars explode. <laughs> A stable can also be a place where horses are, which is not related to star. Zombie. Um, I feel like zombies are not related to stars. You don't have to go every, over every single one. Well, I've missed this twice. I've never done this poorly before with Just a word. Look at the ones that you think are plausible. Napoleon. Well, I got to think about what you think too, because I've obviously missed from thinking about it from my perspective. What would Dan think is star? Napoleon. Does Dan think Napoleon is a star? I'm going to say no. <laughs> Does Dan think that fog, you can see the stars through the fog? Huh? Huh? <laughs> army. Mm. I think the army symbol is a star. Like the U.S. Army has a star on their like, advertising and stuff. But you might not know that. Maybe you do. Blacksmith. Blacksmiths could make... Like iron stars and put them on the wall. I don't know for. She's reaching. Dentist. Huh. Is kitchen star? No. Street. Star. No. Star street. Kitchen street. <laughs> kitchen star. Um. Okay. So in my mind, it's between. Texas has a star on their flag, or. Columbus. Maybe you think Columbus was a star, even though I don't. Okay, my final guess is Texas, because Texas's nickname is the Lone Star State. I don't okay, know I'll touch it. why that would have been the touch first it. star. Touch it. Yes! <sighs> it's not the first star. Big Bang was the first star. Yeah. Star. Texas is associated with stars. <laughs> 
more than the Lone Star State. It's got a big star on it. The sports team's name is the Stars. More than the Pentagon. Stars. More than Earth is in the in space. Absolutely with stars. more than Earth. We'll let we'll let the judges decide. Well, you know, in this uh, American mind. Okay. But you're American. Well, I was thinking more universally. <laughs> <laughs> She's a citizen of the world. Uh, of the universe, I apparently am. <laughs> uh, does that mean you get another token? Oh, yes. All right, so we have one oh, and, um, left. Mine are done. Yours are all finished, so I have two that you need to guess. All right, are you ready for it? my final hit? The drama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is... Beer. For two. No. Five. <laughs> Oh, five. <laughs> for one. Five for one? Yeah. Oh, okay, and then my bonus guess is nature. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, so you're doing it that way. Okay, yes. okay. So five, one? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't take it back, right? <laughs> five. So a little bit of pressure because only one guess left. Five. Are we going to lose? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Pentagon! Pentagon! Oh, the dramatic word. All right, but there is... Nature. One more that you need to say. That's not Earth. I mean, is it fog? Are you pointing to it? No. This is the final guess? It couldn't be. If you guess the wrong one, we Nothing. lose the game. <laughs> no, we don't. We get the, we get the one more guess. Oh, you get one more you guess. You get a bonus guess. Oh, you get a bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're fine. We're good. Well, then I'll go ahead and touch Fog. Yes. We win! Hooray! <laughs> Only mildly dramatic. <laughs> Star! <laughs> yeah, so I said Fog. Fog, okay. fog and Butterfly were nature yeah. to me. It makes sense, but for some reason, Fog just doesn't hit me as... Yeah, it was really hard but to... But I mean, it is nature. ...to combine Fog and Butterfly. I was thinking like air... No, flying. That was good. Something in this, the air. But then I Earth mean, when is I actually look at everything else, yeah, Earth, Earth was a little more. Nature yeah, nature. that's a little. But hard. I mean, it was a toss-up. Yeah, I feel like if it were butterfly and Earth, I probably would have said a different word. Because we say Mother Earth mm. for nature, yeah. so it kind of made me think of Earth more than fog. Yeah. Well, in the end, we won. Good game. Congratulations. <laughs> good job. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a second round. That means we have new words, which round you can two. see here. And we have a new little secret code word card that we'll, you'll be able to see here. I'm gonna try to get Dan to guess my words. He's gonna try to get me to guess his words. Same mm -hmm. as before, maybe you'll learn some new vocabulary. I hope so. Let's find out. Well, I have uh, the first hint okay. and it is three. Oh, three, okay. Yes, the word is breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast three. Is oh, that right. one word? I guess it is, yes. Breakfast is certainly one word. <laughs> is breakfast, break fast. Yeah, you're breaking the fast. Well, um, I'm gonna say milk and toast are looking pretty good. Maybe tea. I drink tea in the morning, part of my breakfast. Uh, those three are looking pretty good. Is there anything I'm missing here? I can't look at your face because you're, you're gonna give me some hints. Everyone does kung fu in the morning, right? We do. Um, maybe there's an avalanche before breakfast <laughs> and you just wear your bikini How about to breakfast. An avalanche of cereal. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna start with toast. Milk toast. Oh, I didn't say milk, but yes, milk. Oh, I know. Okay, good. There's the same milk toast. It's a it's a comment. Okay. It's the thing people say nowadays. Really? Yeah, it means like boring, plain. Oh, I've never heard that. Yeah. Well, learn something new every day. <laughs> uh, next, I get three for breakfast. Mm -hmm. If you want to. I do. I would feel pretty good about tea. Sleep might potentially be one, like you're waking up from your sleep and you eat breakfast, but I'm gonna go with tea. <laughs> Sleeping for breakfast? Well, I don't know if you thought about tea as a breakfast <laughs> item. You don't know if I thought. <laughs> Here it is. All right, I'm ready with my first hint. Okay. It is leg. Leg. Two. Two legs? Interpret it however you want. <laughs> leg, two. Well, I do have two legs. Good. My boss has legs. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Legs kick. 
You have to have pants and a tuxedo. For your legs. And you need legs. <laughs> yeah, you put your legs in your pants. Okay. Uh, uh, reindeer have legs. People who wear bikinis have legs. It's not necessary, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, okay, so kick is definitely jumping out at me. Uh, kung fu, maybe. Those are related. It's too many things have legs, honey. Frogs! Frogs have legs! Okay. Uh, I'm going to start out with kick. Great work. But after that, I, I'm not certain. You can always pass. You don't have to say the last one. Boxers punch. But kickboxers kick with their legs. Mm, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, whoa, whoa. Step. I didn't even see that one. Step. You step with your legs. Well, your feet, really. There's too many leg things. I'm going to pass. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm scared from <laughs> the last time. It made me nervous. All right. So you're going to have one. It's early on. Yeah, I don't know. The, to me, one waiting. Kung Fu, Step. I mean, Spurs. Well, they're yeah, I like it. Leg, it's too vague. Yeah. Leg is vague. Yes, to be honest, it is a very vague word. But that's what I said. So it's your turn. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, and I have another triple hint. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so it might be, a, well, I can't say anymore. The word is punch, three. Punch. Punch. All right, kung fu's looking good. Boxer is looking good. What else punches? Gangsters may be punched. They got some fist fights going on. Um, those are all looking like... Mm, the best possible option. I'm going to start with boxer because you said punch. <sighs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I always feel so nervous whenever I touch one. Like maybe it's not right. You, you said punch. Gonna have another Lone Star State all over again. I know. Um, it's always a possibility. In I this know game. that in Kung Fu they're not punching, but it's this kind of action, right? All I know is Kung Fu Panda. So <laughs> I don't know the actual. Uh, activity. Let's just go with the stereotype. Let's go with Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go for all three. Ooh, how exciting. Yeah. Because I feel pretty good about gangsters punching. They kind of get into brawls and, you know, you just imagine that your face isn't looking so nope. positive here. <laughs> kind of just have a... I'm trying to stay vague. Yeah, I imagine in, uh, what's that movie with the gangsters, uh, Grand Godfather and the Godfather? I bet there's lots of punches that were thrown. I actually haven't seen the Godfather, but I imagine there was lots of punching. That was your word, punch, right? <laughs> yes. Punch. <laughs> um, okay, gangster. Mm-hmm. Yes! Been spending most of our lives living in a gangster's paradise. Okay, so it's my turn to think of a hint. Are you ready for my next hint? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. As ready as I'll ever be. I feel a little nervous. <laughs> my hint Good. is routine two. Routine. 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 We'll see how Dan interprets this word. Routine. <laughs> Routine. Routine. Routine is this code. Routine rhymes with poutine. It is poutine. code names. It could be anything. Poutine is in Canada. Canada is cold. Avalanches are cold. <laughs> I've got it. Um, oh, wait. Routine. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh. You shampoo your hair. It's part of your shower routine. Don't look at my face. I can't give it away. <laughs> Bosses have routines. You know, if you're the boss, you know what's going on and you have a routine. Uh, frogs, I'd say they kind of just live by the seat of their pants. They're not really making routines. Uh, mummies, they're wrapped up and dead. No routines there. Let's see. Anything else jumping out at me? Wedding. Wedding? Wedding. No. Um, okay, I'm going to go with shampoo. Ding, ding, ding. 
even though that's kind of, that's a little odd. I don't know. I just have this feeling that Vanessa was thinking shower routine. The thing is, you have to think about it from my perspective and what I think you would guess, but also what I would think. So mm-hmm. it's this mm-hmm. cycle. Yes. How well do we know each other? Not that well. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know that Star How well do we know each other's, Texas. <laughs> how well do we know each other's brain? Uh, it's a very hit or miss. Um, as far as that, wait, there was another one. I missed the first one. What was that? I already forget. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, you have one more for routine. Yeah, I know. Um, you could skip oh, it. But... sleep. Sleep routine. Sleep. Sleep. It's probably more than boss. Okay. You got it. <laughs> she was like... Yep. When I said boss, she was like... Oh, no! <laughs> so you do have one more. Yeah. What I is don't, it again? You're I probably don't... not allowed to tell me, but tell me anyway. Yeah, I don't think I can tell you what the hint is. I already forget. What was but it? But it is legs. Oh, leg. That's right. Leg. 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 Um, I mean, I think we're, we're doing fine. I'm still going to pass for now. You're going to pass? Okay. So you still got that sitting on yeah. the back burner? Yeah, it's on the back burner. All right. I'll if take, I can remember. <laughs> I'll take one of these. All right. Now it's your turn to think of a hint. Yeah. You might think it was a short amount of time before. It's been a long time. <laughs> we are cutting out the pauses where we think about a hint. All right. It's your turn. All right. I have my hint ready. It's a kind of strange word. Bullish. What? Bullish. Like a bull, <laughs> but B U L L I S H? That was the best reaction ever. <laughs> bullet. What? You've never heard that word? Like he is bullish? Yeah. What? He's like a bull. Bullish. He's stubborn yeah, and pushes and like. Rah. He's like a bull. Bullish. Yeah, bullish too. Oh, All right. <laughs> two. Come on. Easy. <laughs> well, I feel like. A minotaur, a minotaur is like a bull. So that's a pretty good one. Gangster is already off the board. So that's not obviously bullish. Boss, a bad boss could be like that. I'm going to go first with minotaur. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. just to make sure, bullish. Certainly not a vocabulary word I would have said, but it's okay. I get the point. <laughs> now everybody will know the term, bullish. Are you bullish? Mm, you I'm... also use this in the stock market. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're bullish about a stock mm. like, or a commodity. What is, is that the movie? The Oh, that's the Wolf on Wall Street or yeah. something like that. But mm-hmm. there's a bull if you go actually visit the stock market. Yeah, there's a bull there. There's mm-hmm. a bull statue in New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with boss. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, was that it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this is running so much good job. more smoothly than the last game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna think of a hint now. Are you ready for my next hint? I'm ready. Okay, it's getting a little tougher now. My next hint took me a long time to think of, and it is Lancelot <laughs> Two. Lancelot. <laughs> Thankfully, in this game, you can use Double pro- proper nouns. Double Lancelot. Lancelot. Did you say Lancelot? Lancelot. No, you two, two hints. Oh, two. two okay. Words. <laughs> yes, there are two words related to Lancelot. Lancelot. Hopefully, not more. I don't know a lot about Lancelot. I mean, he's a knight of the Round Table. I know that's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably wore armor. Guarantee that. Uh, probably didn't wear a bikini. Just saying. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you know enough about him to say that's a pretty clear cut no. But if I recall, he might he might ride a reindeer. <laughs> Lancelot comes in on his noble steed, the reindeer. Mm-hmm. Is that right? I'm certain they had reindeer in England at okay. that time. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to tap armor. Yes, you are correct. Lancelot wore armor, as far as we know. I mean, he's a fictional character. Right? Um... Did he have spurs? I always associate spurs with uh, like cowboys. Hmm. More modern. Uh, is Lancelot known for like getting married or something? I don't. I don't know enough about the story. Who is Lancelot? <laughs> What's his story? What's his deal? Well, you have 
one more. <laughs> tell me about Lancelot. Real I cannot quick. tell you, but you have one more word. If you get it, you can also guess another word which you have missed along the way. Lancelot. Or you can pass. We've got four tokens left, so we're doing pretty well. Mm. Doing much better than the last round. Hmm. I don't know. It's between wedding and spurs. I don't know why wedding. I just feel like maybe with the story, maybe he, if he gets married to like, what's her name, Guinevere? Or is that somebody else? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I don't know enough about Lancelot. And I'm afraid I'm going to get the assassin, so. Uh, I don't want to be a wuss and pass twice. Can't do that. What are you going to touch then? Spurs. It's neutral. So it's not correct. This is neutral. But it's not a bomb word. So we don't Spurs lose. Spurs you, you use to, to get your horse to go. Yeah, I did. Lancelot rode a horse. I'm sure. Guaranteed. He, that, yeah, knights did have spurs. Did they? Yeah, I totally didn't even think about that. Oh, okay. Well, they weren't spurs. I'm not crazy. They weren't spurs in the sense that we think of them with a the little wheel. I think they were just like spikes. Oh, just spikes. As, that doesn't sound nice. At least what I know. To a horse. But now I know you don't know much about Lancelot. <laughs> I don't, know, don't worry, I the second one was Lancelot. not so obvious. The first one, armor, was much more obvious. Okay, okay. All right, it's your turn to think of a hint. I have one more, so I'm just going to give one hint, obviously. Mm -hmm. The hint is snow one. Snow. Oh, we've got reindeer and avalanche. <laughs> but you probably would have said a different word if it were reindeer. I know it's only one, but I feel a little bit of pressure because that's the last one. <laughs> Snow, let's let's go with avalanche. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. I mean, I figured with you, reindeer. You would have said something. You would else. say avalanche before reindeer, right? Yeah, you would have said something to do with Santa or yeah, something like that. I just felt like it's probably a safe enough bet. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it might confuse you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It did for a moment, just because I wanted to make sure it was right. Mm -hmm. All right, so you get one more token, and... I'm done. Wow, you are done with all your words? Well, I have two more. All my words are done. Two more that you have passed on, mm -hmm. but I'm going to give you a hint anyway. <laughs> I passed on both of these. I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to see if I can try to combine them. Yeah, well, you got two chances, so let's yeah. see. How it goes. All right, give me a second. It is time for my final hint. The final hint. <laughs> yes, we have two tokens left, so there's not much pressure on the board as far as but losing not the really. game. But I still want to give a good hint. Okay. My hint is bases. Bases. Two. Bases. 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 Yeah. First base. Second base. We made it to first base. Third base. Um, yeah, bases. Uh, bases. <laughs> Something about that word is throwing me off. Well, okay, so for some reason, the first thing that comes to my mind is baseball. So I'm well, guessing. Well, that makes sense. Bases, baseball. I'm guessing she's uh, talking about stepping on the base because that also coincides with the uh, leg. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that. Good work. All right, and uh, bases. So wait, let's leg. What was the other word? Uh, Lancelot. Lancelot. <laughs> Lancelot. Don't be thrown off too much by base. Lancelot, because bases. He made it to first base, which is kissing. Does Lancelot kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> I wish I knew anything about Lancelot. Other than he's a knight of the round table. You already said some other important facts about him, though. Did I? Yeah. What, what did I say? He's, he, uh, he, uh, what did I say? He rides, he's a knight of the round table. And? He rides a steed. And? We know it's not a reindeer. He marries somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now she's giving me hints. Okay, I can't give any facial expressions. <laughs> so wait, is, uh, do you consider wedding a base? All right, uh, well, I'm pretty sure Lancelot didn't wear a tuxedo to his wedding. So I'm going to touch wedding. Ah, no! 
It's not a wedding? Why can't make you look at me like it's a wedding? No. What? Okay, so that's a neutral one. <laughs> but because you don't have any... No. Because you don't have any... At least it's neutral. ...other words, then you get another guess. Like, I can say the same hint again. Oh. Because we still have one more token left. Well, okay, yeah, but the hint is bases. You can't say a new one. Right. Unless you use that. Are you using it? Well, <clears throat> I have to, we have to use that new token because you've already missed it, so you don't get an extra guess. So we kind of have to go oh, back. Oh, I see as, what you're saying. As if it skips your turn and goes back to me. Right, right, right. But I could say the same hint again, but you I'm going to say something else. You should else. say a new hint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let me think about it for a second. This is the third time I've tried to connect this word. All the hints are going right over my head. Lancelot. Who's that? Legs. Where? <laughs> Where was the other one? Bases. Bases. That did not go over your head. So it must be kissing. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know enough. I'm, Lancelot is like throwing me off. Because I don't know anything about him. Yeah, I'll tell you why I said Lancelot later. Oh, I'm later. sure I'll find out why. Okay. I'm... Was he even a real guy? I don't know. I'm gonna go with... Well, just give me a just simple hint. <laughs> How hard could it be? Ready? To get into this brain. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Love. One. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Love. One. Love. You only wear tuxedos when you're in love. Please guess the right word. We only have one left. Yes. Yes, thank you. So you said... It is first base. It is first base. You said we made it to Well, when I base. said he got married, you, you, you winked at me. I was going to say kiss. But no. then you were, I was like, Lancelot gets married, right? And you were like, eh. <laughs> I was trying to have a, just a goofy face. Oh. No, Lancelot and Guinevere... I imagine that they kiss. Oh, I was right about Guinevere? Yes. I knew details I, so I thought the, I didn't So the know. problem was, there was the word frog on the board. I had sleep, kiss, and armor. And I thought I could say prince, like in a fairy tale. A prince wears armor and he kisses the princess who's sleeping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also prince, if you kiss a prince, a frog, a prince. frog he could become a prince. Was that your or, assassin word? No, but I just didn't want you to guess it. Yeah. Or if I said princess, a princess and the frog. This word frog killed so many, so I was trying to think and of... And frog legs. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I, I thought of that. I should have thought of that. But I was going to say a specific knight who wears armor. None of the Disney princesses have names, though. Or they're not, like, common names. If I said... Princesses? Oh, the princes. Oh, the prince. Okay. None of the princes, because Sleeping Beauty, that's who I wanted to say. Her name's Aurora. Doesn't the Cinderella guy have the name? Prince Charming. Yeah. Nah, it was something else. I don't remember what it is, though. Well, there was nothing that was super obvious. Anyway, the word frog was really throwing me off. <laughs> so, I in the tell. end, I said Lancelot, because yeah. he kisses Guinevere, I guess, I imagine. Oh, okay. I have to see, when you said Lancelot, I thought it had to be like a... So I wasn't thinking you were thinking, oh, he probably kissed Guinevere. Yeah. I thought it was more like, there's a pivotal scene where Lancelot swoops up Guinevere <laughs> and kisses her and she turns into an eagle. Something oh, wow. Like, that would be much more something like epic that. than the real story. I was, that was a little bit of a stretch, but okay. I figured you might connect Guinevere. I almost said Guinevere instead, but you wouldn't say armor for no, Guinevere. Yeah, Lancelot was better. But you did well, say I mean, one of you. Know. Anyway, there was a connection we between enough, all of these. <laughs> we had enough turns. Well, I would say that this round was a lot smoother than the last round. Yes. <laughs> we cut out a lot of time. This round took about took us about half the yeah, amount of time, half the time. <laughs> that the other one did. But it was still enjoyable. Yeah. We beat the time. game. We did it. Good we work. did it again. Good work. <laughs> we killed the assassin. Is that the point of the game? There's actually some mm -hmm. kind of story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, We're secret agents, apparently. Of course. Can't you tell? Yeah. Well, we solved the mystery. Yeah, secret agents play board Case. games late at night. <laughs> Case closed. Yes, good work. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this unique English lesson where we talk about uh, words and this board game. 
what I would like you to do is I want you to decide if any of these words that we talked about that showed up here on the screen that we mentioned were new for you. Learn something more about them. Look them up. Try to use them in the comments. And Buy the game. Try it. Yeah, try code names. It's really mm -hmm. cool. I'll try to find a link and just put it in the comment in the description because it's pretty fun. You can play it with two people. You can get the regular one and play it with more people if you know more people who want to do it in English. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this was voted like top game of 2018, maybe a couple years ago. It's just a good game. Yeah, yeah. it's a great game. We played it at a lot of parties. But next week, I'm going to be making a video where I break down some of the specific words that we used in Ooh. this lesson. So you'll be able to see them in more detail. We'll take a look at some clips from this game that we played so that you can just kind of get a better feeling for how you could use these words as well. Maybe you understood the general concept, but not in detail every single thing. Mm. Well, thanks for joining me, Dan. You're welcome. I appreciate you spending your evening playing this game. Playing games. Yeah, we got to drink Can't tea, go wrong with that. got some beer. We, yeah, had a good time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.